Sometimes, it is not the presentation of facts and figures that persuades a person, but a statement that tugs at the heart. John Steinbeck's letter to Marilyn Monroe is evidence that wit and charm, combined with sound writing, is a recipe for persuasion. In his letter, Steinbeck aims to persuade Monroe to sign a picture of herself for his nephew. Your mission is to listen to and read the following letter by Steinbeck, then write 100 words or more explaining what makes the letter so persuasive. Then, you will need to imitate the style and tone of Steinbeck's letter by writing your own letter to a famous person. In your letter, be sure you request something. Perhaps you can request an autograph from Michael Jordan or maybe an at-home concert by Lady Gaga. What you request or who you request it from is up to you. So let's listen to Steinbeck's letter to Marilyn Monroe. Dear Marilyn, In my whole experience, I have never known anyone to ask for an autograph for himself. It is always for a child or an ancient aunt, which gets very tiresome as you know better than I. It is, therefore, with a certain nausea that I tell you that I have a nephew-in-law who lives in Austin, Texas, whose name is John Atkinson. He has his foot in the door of puberty, but that is only one of his problems. You are the other. I know that you are not made of celestial ether, but he doesn't. A suggestion that you have normal functions would shock him deeply, and I'm not going to be the one to tell him. On a recent trip to Texas, my wife made the, fi the fatal error of telling John that I met you. He doesn't really believe it, but his respect for me has gone up, even for lying about it. Now, I get asked for all kinds of silly favors, so I have no hesitation in asking one of you. Would you send him, in my care, a picture of yourself, perhaps in pensive, girlish mood, inscribed to him by name, and indicating that you are aware of his existence. He is already your slave. This would make him mine. If you will do this, I will send you a guest key to the ladies' entrance of Fort Knox, and furthermore, I will like you very much. Yours sincerely, John Steinbeck.